Oh yeah, now it's working. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That was like really secret in there. That was so stressful. Oh my God. But yeah, I really, really liked the stuff that you said through. So it looks so good. Um, thank you. It's yeah, have bit, you been enjoying yeah. doing it? Yeah, but like now I have like some deep respect for YouTubers. Like, oh man. A lot of room and like talk to a camera is like real interesting. Hey. Go. So to start off my artwork, I'm going to be doing some 3D scanning or photogrammetry to create an exact replica of this Nike TN. I feel like 3D scanning sounds a lot more difficult than it actually is. It's pretty much just the process of taking a whole bunch of photos from every possible angle around an object and then importing it into a software to create a 3D mesh. Um, and you said that you've done like 12 hours of work so far on it. How yep. many more hours do you think you'll have to do? Oh, I don't know. It depends. I feel like probably another 40, maybe more than that. Oh my god. It kind of it depends on how I go with it or I don't know and like I'm already kind of switching some of the things around in my mind. No, don't worry. It's all right because I started this meeting. You don't need to like press any. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man. All right. See you. All right. So, how have you been going with the project, the work? Pretty good. I feel like yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't do really. I think the only thing I did that was kind of a, that I talked about before was just like the shoe, and even that I kind of like left it. Like I mixed around the materials, and then I ended up liking it all glitched out and weird yeah yeah i don't know that's that whole thing about the planning like i just did it again i just realized again in my mind i'm not going to ever plan anything because i like it better when it's just like freestyle yeah for sure so did it just come about like you were just being creative with the work and then you just kept on going down that path and then it changed yeah, I was like, okay, so let me just do the background. I was like, I really want a warm background. I was like, okay, a blood splatter would look really good with a warm background. <laughs> like, okay, now I need to bring in some blue, but I don't know how. And I was like, Rubik's Cube. I don't know. It just, like, kept going. And then I was like, I need to have some – I was like, all my stuff kind of has people in it. And then I thought, how can I kind of bring a person-type figure into a still life? And so I thought of, like, a toy. Yep the Gundam in there. I don't know, it just like kept going. I was like, this is just not what I said I would do. But yeah. Well, I think it looks great good. though. It's so good to just be able to though, like follow your instincts, I guess. That's it. And like, I kind of just wanted to do something super stupid and experimental and just like 
because I never get to do that. I like never get to just mess around and this has kind of been really fun. Yeah. In that way. So do you think um, by like doing, going down like kind of another path, do you think that it has taken more time or do you think that because it was something that was just coming to you, it like, flew, like it flowed out of you easier? I feel like it flowed out of me easier. Like it just got to the point where I didn't really think about it too much. I was like, oh yeah, it just needs that. Like I know it needs that. It doesn't, like it's fine. Yeah. And then I just drop it. Yeah. Yeah, cool.